Samsung is making no secret that this year's Unpacked is all about AI. You really can't miss it. But what does that mean when every gadget in 2024 has some kind of AI on it? Meet the S24, the S24 Plus, and the S24 Ultra. They look a lot like last year's devices, with a few exceptions and one higher price tag. More on that in a bit. But the main changes are all under the hood. All three phones get the same AI features, and that includes a new live transcription in the Recorder app and the ability to translate your chats into a different language. You can even have AI help you tailor your message to a certain tone, like more professional or more chatty. Thanks, AI. There's also something called Circle to Google, and that's available everywhere in the phone. You just hold down the home button and you circle the thing you want to search for. It'll pull up a page of Google results and tell you what you're looking at. It's really handy, actually. But of course, there's a ton of photo and video editing tools you can use now powered by generative AI. And some of them look a lot like what the Pixel 8 Pro is capable of. You just circle your subject and you can take them out of the frame or resize them and move them around. Not always the most convincing. Sometimes it totally invents something that looks a little wonky, but it's a lot of fun to play with and could be really useful. And if you're someone like me who always takes crooked photos, there's a new way to adjust the horizon and have generative AI fill in the edges rather than punching in. That's really helpful. One of the coolest features we saw was the ability to turn any video you've taken from any camera into a slow motion video. It doesn't matter whether you shot it at 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second. It uses AI to fill in the gaps between the frames and give you a slow motion video. You just hold down on the subject and voila, it looks really good. You can see me here playfully whipping my hair back and forth. And I don't know, it looks really convincing. But let's talk about the big guy, the S24 Ultra, the flagship. This time it's back with a totally flat screen, which I love. Sorry if you liked the curved screen, but it's gone now. There's also a titanium build, which unlike Apple, Samsung isn't really touting it as a lightweight solution. It's just a more durable and kind of nice looking build. And of course, you've got a whole bunch of cameras, including a three times zoom and this time a five times optical zoom. That's down from the 10x zoom on S23 Ultra. The Samsung assures us that the 10x quality is actually better than the previous generation. Of course, you still have 100 times base zoom. It looks weird, but it's a cool party trick. So this year, the price has jumped up from $1,199 to $1,299. That's a pretty hefty price tag for a phone. That brings us to the S24 and the S24 Plus, and there's not a whole lot that's new here. The bezels on the screens are slightly smaller, so the screens themselves have gotten a little bit bigger. The batteries are a little bit bigger this time around, and they still cost the same. The S24 starts at $799, S24 Plus starts at $9.99. Do those bigger batteries add up to better battery life? I'm gonna find out as soon as I start testing them, very soon. The S24 Plus screen gets a jump in resolution from 1080p to 1440p. It's 2024 and that's a big screen, so really need all that resolution. So that's the S24 series. There's not a lot that's changed, but kind of a lot that's changed. Are you into the new AI features? I'm excited to try them out. Let us know in the comments.